a budget appetizer to get us in the mood, we'd already been told that postal charges will go up and our telephones will cost more. Gas prices might go up by one and nine in the pound. Together with last year's electricity rise, as well as higher fares on buses and trains, a family budget would certainly rise by 10 bob a week. Then on top of all that, the budget itself. Roy Jenkins had warned us it would be tough, and by golly, how right he was. He's increased betting duties, but he's giving us a draw for premium bonds every week, as well as every month. We could also be getting a national lottery. If you don't win on that, you may get more family allowances. But then purchase tax is up, so most things will still cost more. As well as the weekly premium draw, we're encouraged to save by a new 6% bond. You can celebrate if you're a beer drinker, but there's half a dollar on spirits and another tuppence on 20 going up in smoke. 25 pounds to license your car and road tax up for the bike. Fourpence a gallon on petrol just about cleans us all up. It makes us envy even more the fortunate few who live in the British Isles with income tax at only four shillings in the pound. We went to Jersey to remind ourselves of the advantages of living in the Channel Islands. You can fill up at three and five pence halfpenny a gallon. Road tax is only seven pounds for a small car, and all cars are free of purchase tax. In fact, there's no purchase tax at all in Jersey, no surtax, no death duties or estate duties. Some food is cheaper, but the overall cost of living isn't all that different from the mainland. The most attractive buys are, of course, in spirits and other so-called luxury goods like cigarettes and tobacco, about three bob cheaper for 20. But before you buy your one-way ticket, I must remind you of the serpent in this particular paradise. There's an acute housing shortage, and all moderately priced properties are reserved for local people. New arrivals have to obtain official consent before buying, and they're unlikely to be able to purchase a house for anything less than £12,000. As we swallow the bitter pill of the budget, 